presentation. Uh, I'd like to go back. You said something about it in your conclusions to your starting point, uh, and that's the uh, different dimensions of water, uh, temporal, spatial, and uh, economic. Okay. But in yeah. your conclusion, you said that something should be added, something more social. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm wondering, because if your starting point are different dimensions of water to understand mm -hmm. water conflicts, then implicitly you try to explain water conflicts in terms of water. Yes. And I'm wondering, if you had not used this starting point, uh, would you have found something different? Because what you found, in fact, were issues such as uh, uh, multi-level games, which mm -hmm. is very relevant in this case, participation. Mm -hmm. do, do you think you would have not have found these things if you did, had not used these dimensions as a starting point? Well, when I looked to the literature, they mm -hmm. didn't find, for instance, all the problems. They find, so for instance, there is a lot of literature, literature especially about multiple level games in the area. But they don't talk about, for instance, is it a problem of definition of a minimum flow? Is it correctly? They just assume that this is correctly what they're discussing. Yeah. And I could not find that in that dimension. So I could find in the temporal dimension. When I looked at the supply and the demand, it was easy to follow. I, I, actually, when I found it, was really depressed. What is the problem? There is no problem. There is water for everybody. Then I start to think and reveal the, the data that I have. And they, they always thought, the salinity, the salinity is a very big issue. The salinity is a very big issue. And, and, and I was, at the beginning, before the, in the interview, I was not completely understand why is this a big issue, but it was, and why is it, not only why is it a big issue, but what are the interests behind this issue? And it was clear, to me it was clear that Spain says that it's for environmental problem, for uh, purpose, that they want to decrease the salinity intrusion, but it's more for, the main problem is fun. And they, the right, they don't have the rights I didn't say that in the presentation, but they agreed, in Portugal and Spain, agreed that Spain could pump until the building of the Andeo Dam. After they build, they should stop. So Portugal thinks that the pumping station is a legal problem. It's, they, they should stop. It's illegal. They should all negotiate again, or it's illegal. Spain thinks it's just irregular. They need to ask again for permission. So, I'm a, a, a little bit picky because I agree with your conclusion, mm -hmm. uh, or you've convinced me that this illegal pumping is a big issue. Mm -hmm. But why is that related to the temporal, the spatial, or the economic dimension of uh, uh, water? Mm -hmm. is, is there is there a one-to-one -one link between these dimensions, or is it more uh, social? Uh, uh, le it's legal. Or if yeah. it's illegal, it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, I agree with your conclusions and also what you found. Uh, I don't see exactly why, for instance, participation is spatial and uh, water scarcity is economic and not spatial or uh, temporal. Or it could be both at the same time and not only, but also uh, social and political. Yes, yes. I also agree. But uh, I need to somehow... Uh, I, I don't know the word. Uh, but I need to separate somehow, create some, uh, let's say, boundaries, artificial boundaries where there is not boundaries. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree that there is overlap. But if I look to, to especially, especially if you think that it's water is vital, then it must be distributed. Social equity become a big issue, you know? And then participation is a tool to increase this. So, but it's, I, I completely agree that participation it's in everything, but not only participation, all other things that also relate to everything. But I try to somehow create a Separate. boundary, yeah, to facilitate that analysis. Right? One more, it's no. quite a different uh, question, not about the, the, the three dimensions, but you said something about participation. Everybody's yeah. in favor of participation, yeah. but you said that reduces the possibility for, uh, for issue linkage. Yes. So are you against the participation? In the case, in the case, and just <coughs> let me give, I will give my opinion, but let me give the opinion of the interviews. In the case, they perceive participation as bad, because 
they trade off national things. So if you <coughs> if you ask people in the Tejo if they want to give up something because somebody in the Dodo will gain, it will be really difficult to to find an agreement if everybody is participating. So they try to, okay, we are the government, we represent everybody, let's find an agreement between us. And I think participation is more efficient than myopia. If you have like only one basin, but when you actually mix, and there is a lot of history behind, they start the negotiations in a dictatorship regime. So also, then they didn't want to completely change what they already have. They was adapting a little bit. So they already trade off a lot of things. If they include participation, people will start to want to discuss things that was agreed in the past. So to me, in this case, participation, local participation, again, is not, I, I think it, it was, it would be worse if they increase the level of participation. But only in this case or in the most cases? No, no, I, I cannot say in the most cases. I will say only this case. <laughs> <laughs> I, I continue. Yeah, you <laughs> And then I have a counter argument uh -huh. uh, saying, well, participation is uh, very good, but of course there will be winners and losers. Yes. And if you don't involve the losers, then it's easier to uh, take a decision. Yes. Uh, until they uh, revolt or whatever. Yes. Uh, but if something is in the national interest and our local losers, can you not compensate uh, these? Because yeah. they, they lose in the interest of the nation and the nation could uh, offer some extra economic development or more water treatment plants or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah this, this is also, I completely agree with you, but th then it's, to me it's two levels of participation. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they decide, we are going to do this. You are going to bear the cost, you local. And now we are going to talk to you, how we are going to compensate you, but we are not involving you in the first decision. You know? And I think the countries do that. They go and say, okay, so you are being harmed, we are going to try to compensate you. But after they already decide that they are going to do something there, and then I, I, I think it, it's a way to do it. And I think it was a valid way. They could improve a lot, for instance, a lot of the hydropower generation in Spain is because this is not only Spain, Portugal. Can I continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, what you see, for instance, in Spain, you have a, like a regionalization inside Spain, a federalization, yeah. which you see also in many other countries. Yeah. And as it were, you start to internationalize these river basins. Yeah. So far, in the, the main committee for the Albufeira Convention, there's only national players involved. Yeah. But isn't that in contradiction to the policy of regionalization or, or yeah. giving more powers to the regions? And yeah. isn't it inevitable that these guys will come to the table and that you then will have a fight between, for instance, Andalusia and... Uh, yeah. And what's the other one? Estremadura. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And then... And that may be beneficial to uh, to Portugal, perhaps. Yeah. That they start fighting and then they're, you know, let's say, no, <laughs> let's see. Yeah. To me, uh, I agree. I agree. <laughs> but, uh, but it becomes more complicated also. Yes. But there is a, 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 a but here. <laughs> the, they already participate in the decision making. They may be not be in the table, but, but they influence the stakeholders in the table. So to me they already they already it, it looks like it's beneficial for Portugal if Spain doesn't really know what they want, but then it's really I think it's really bad for Portugal because Spain just want one thing and they don't want to change their position at all. You know? We want to increase the the minimum flow regime because they cannot uh, convince Extremadura maybe to release a little bit more than water, and they cannot convince Andalusia to stop pumping. <coughs> so, it depends. And, and a lack of agreement is not that bad, especially for Portugal. So Portugal is more relaxed. But, but now, we we follow it through, mm -hmm. of the, 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 the minimum flow committee, you interviewed only the, the, the chair and the secretary of the, of the committee, Yes. May 
which come from the, 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 the national government. So you didn't talk to the regional representatives. Yeah. So to what extent are your findings that you are now giving influenced by the, or biased even, because of the, 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 the limited number of um, uh, actors you, you interviewed? Uh, the Spanish delegators, what they said, the, the two that I interviewed, so it's their opinion, I don't have the other opinions. They said that it was very centralized, they, they told in Spain that the delegation is composed by three central members and one for each core basin. So, so actually it was very important to interview the Guadiana representative. And, and, but I, I will go back to the Guadiana representative. So they said, we just consult them because it's a national interest. So we, if they don't agree, we are gonna we're gonna do anyways if we think it's worth. So we just consult them. They don't have a strong opinion on this. In the case of the Guadiana, because they already agree with everything, then this this guy that represents the Guadiana is quite important because they already trade off everything. And this guy, I really tried to interview. Him. I, I know him for the field trip, and uh, he said, I I'm never so participate in any discussion of that. And then when I look, when I talk to other stakeholders, he yes, asked for sure he participate. Here is the minute, his name is here. But I, when I asked him, I did not participate. And what I think is this, the Guadiana, is, the Guadiana is Confederação de Guadiana, that is the, the organization that we represent, they have in their assembly some people from the Luzia, some people from Stramatura, some people from the National Board. Everything that he says could be used against him. It's better to not say anything. So I understand why he was silent. And, and, uh, and, but I, I, I agree that if I could interview him, maybe the results would be a little bit different. It was a very important statement. Okay, um, and then about this issue linkage, yeah? because I, I like this, that what you concluded. First, you have the only solution is to link issues, but then you get into a, a, a kind of a trap. Yes. And, and, and it's very difficult now to, to, to add things or to change things because everything is connected to, to everything. So we have witnessed this the same this, with our Belgian neighbors, yeah? we have discussed it in mm -hmm. class. So, so, so what, what advice do you give if, if you have to start uh, to solve a problem and there is not yet you know, this, 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 this issue linking uh, being done? So what do you recommend? Try to avoid it? Or? I think it's important. I think it's, uh, if you don't do it, then it's really hard to overcome some conflict. So, for instance, uh, if you don't agree on a certain amount of water because somebody is being harmed, if you don't overcome with other things, then maybe the solution will not come. And, and there's always something that you can always add something. You can always broader. So, if you start only issue linking like they start with water, you could maybe start to increase other things like uh, trade or, or transport or other things that could actually help cooperation. But at one point, maybe they are really trapped if they want to change. Now, and, and federalization of the country may, 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 may create also, problems. That's yeah. what, what happened in Belgium. Yeah. Nora, and then Eric, and then the... the <laughs> I, have a, I have a question on what you said that at a certain point you, you said, oh, that actually there is no problem. Actually, they are cooperating quite well, and so, so could you explain a little bit, and, and also do you have an idea on how that might evolve over the coming years? Because now we have the dam, and it's actually not fully exploited, so yeah. there is a lot of yeah. spare water that they could just um, release. Mm -hmm. but do you think that at a certain point there will happen something that actually will, would oblige them to to fix a, a, a little bit Yeah. Uh, yeah, so just to, to comment a little bit on that. Uh, to me, there is like three levels that you can look to the case. So if you look in the national level, Spain and Portugal contributes to cooperate a lot. 
they, they have a lot of uh, things that was beneficial for them. And they really, when you ask them, they're really proud what, what, what they did. When you talk about Pomarão, they, they are completely <coughs> the opposite. Oh, they don't listen to me, oh, we talk, but they don't it. But if you're talking the national level, they, but if you, when you go to the daily, so if you go to the flow, daily flow, then, okay, there is water for the environment, there is water for pumping. Why they're really, why they're not, why they're discussing about this? And, and, and to me it's because, the, again, the salinity intrusion. And if uh, Portugal, especially Portugal, start to, to increase the amount of uh, land irrigated, then Portugal will reduce the amount of water released. And it will be bad for Spain. <coughs> also, climate change. If, if it really happened, the predictions, maybe in the future the, the water available, the water supply in Brazil will be reduced. So this will affect the, the transport and issues. But actually, I, I thought a lot about that, uh, how this would come up in the future. And, and especially because to me, it looks like Spain is not being a very good negotiator in the beginning, I was thinking that. And then I said, no, actually Spain is being quite good negotiator. Why? Because to me, the only way that they can go out of this is that in the end, Spain will say, okay, I will pay for the work or we'll compensate Portugal. No, that doesn't need to be a monetary thing, but we'll compensate Portugal somehow. If they actually have water every in daily basis, if they don't reach an agreement, they don't need to pay anything to Portugal. See, actually, in the short, short run, Spain's quite good. Spain's plenty, is happy, everybody's happy. And in the future, yeah, this is very complicated, but then it's a nice not government. So, next politician, next party, so, like for them, who cares? You know, it's not in their interest. They are look to the let's say short run. And for the short run, everybody's happy. Portugal is also happy because they can keep the dam as cool as possible. Yeah, I um, I also wanted to know what you finally what you rest on the role of the EU mm -hmm. in this story because they. Uh, they imposed an unreal flow or yeah. a environmental flow. Is there any feedback on that? Do, do they know what is happening there? I don't have to tell that, if they know or not. But in my opinion, Portugal doesn't say to the European Union, hey, we are releasing this. They say to the European Union, they give a report to the European Union every year how much they release to this. Country. But to me, they don't say that just after it's fine, it's fine. This is the they probably don't say because it's not their problem. They are, they are releasing the water. So if the European Union knows, to me they're just closing their eyes. Okay, if, if, we, if we enter in this negotiation, then it will be messy, so it's better to, to leave it out. But they still have an important role, because, especially in the past, because they agreed with Portugal. And when they agree, Portugal gets a lot of power. The European Union agree with me. What's the problem? It's 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 environmental. It's okay for the environment. But is sorry. To, but to, to, you have also the all these requirements with the, the water framework directive yeah. to to get the, the estuary in a good status, etc. By by yeah. two years in 2015. So it's yeah. two years time. So how is this then? Yeah, they 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 don't have any. The only thing that they can measure this story is pretty much salinity intrusion. They did a study in 2000 about how the story is impacted. They didn't have any, uh, uh, any important conclusion, anything that they should say, oh, it's been hard, but it's not been hard. So to Portugal, this story is, is fine. They already did this study. We are releasing the amount of water required for this story, so we are applying the, with the European framework there. It's a problem of Spain. You know? That's part of it. Sounds a bit like the Dutch uh, expression, we need wait what we get. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, then everything is fine. <laughs> but according to the Water Framework Directive, we have to monitor the status. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so then the perhaps uh, Spain and Portugal may get into problems already on that issue yeah. and not on not reaching the objectives because yeah. they don't know the status. Yeah. But I was, 
have a, a question on one of uh, the, the first main conclusion. It's, it's almost a recommendation. Uh, discussions are improperly framed. Uh, uh, first, the issue should be discussed whether Spain has the right to pump, and then environmental flow uh, options. And that would increase negotiation uh, options. Yeah. Well, you already said something about that in the short term it's neither in the interest of Spain or Portugal to negotiate anyway. Yeah because Spain can pump and Portugal can uh, run, operate its uh, the Al Al Cueta dam as, as it likes. Yeah. Uh, but why would Spain accept to first discuss uh, whether uh, they, they are doing illegal things or not? And how could that increase the, uh, the number of options? Uh, well, first, is Spain in a very weak position, at mm -hmm. least in this case. So. If they want to move on, they need. I think they need to. I think Portugal will not change their position. Yeah. So they need. Spain needs to to give a, a to 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 forgive to to give. Okay, let's discuss this first. And they actually they try to discuss. They put in the in the agenda and they took it out. So they would start and then they decide to oh, let's not discuss this anymore. Spain put it on the agenda. Yeah, and they took it out. So they didn't want to receive a no. Because if they receive a no, they have to stop them. And now it's not clear if they yeah. can or not. So, and just to answer your question, the options. Well, here in the Netherlands, there is some some bar 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 barriers to avoid the, 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 the high tides to, to go inside. So this could be an option. They also could change maybe the pumping station. If they agree that the Spain could pump, they could put in a place that uh, salient intrusion doesn't go so far. Or they, they could agree that the pump would be duplicated and they pump in the, the low low tides and then Portugal will use more water at, at that point. Why is it important to first agree on this one point and then on the other point? Because that sounds uh -huh. like delinking uh, issues. Yeah. It may, there may be reasons for that as well, to, to make it less complex negotiations, mm -hmm. yeah. that really uh, issue dealing is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. To me, they should do that because they really don't talk to each other. So, Spain says, I want more water. Yeah. Okay, stop pumping. So, they, they, then they say, no, but uh, pumping is irregular. Oh, it's not irregular. So, they, they don't yeah. move. You see, so, in, and they don't listen. It, actually, there is a good saying here. What could you be saying? No, uh, oh. the Spanish <laughs> delegate, the Dialogo de Surdos. Uh, yeah, like uh, they, we are really talking to each other, and we really want to say a lot of things, but we don't want to listen. We just want They're to not say. talking about the really important issue that yeah. should be resolved. That's yes. illegal pumping. Yeah, in my, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Are there any more questions from the floor? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no, but is this framework also applicable in your country, your in international South basis, whatever? Yeah. You could ask that. <laughs> okay. No more questions. Uh, yeah. Do you think this framework will also be applicable to the South Francisco River, for instance? Well, more general. Uh, uh, you could use the same analysis for the <coughs> basin, or only for yes. European river basins, or for the Euphrates, Tigris, Nile? Or? No, in my opinion, the framework is, is broad. It could be applicable to any, any, any transportary case. Not any transboundary because San Francisco is not even transboundary. To any, to any river basin. Yeah, okay, it's in a certain sense. States. It's the yeah. states. It's not international. Yeah, but it yeah, it's more or less. Yeah, it's yeah. seven states. And there's a lot of interest behind. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah, but it's not in the international concept. But yeah, it could be a free you know, because there is this state, interstate dimension. Would it be cool? Yeah. You. <laughs> we'll see <you> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, um, I think we had an interesting discussion. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sergio. Let's give him a big hand.
So I propose that we uh, withdraw to my room. That's the easiest. And then uh, you, you'll be in standby no, yeah. near my room. Yeah? Okay, okay thank you very thank much you. Uh, for the big audience. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.